Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. It's 101.4 degrees in South Texas. We're June 21st, 2017. And let me start off with um, the box of electrodes that I bought, which is 6011, one eighth inch uh, electrodes, and a box of 25 pounds. This will work really good on AC and DC, deep penetration, and basically what I use on my uh, oil field pipe that I have laying around here for corrals or fences. But anyways, um, I'm gonna move that out of the way here. I also picked up one of these little welder hats, seven and a half, I believe, seven and a half inches. I needed a seven and three quarters. Didn't have it, wanted it, picked it up. So I also had to buy these here. Both of them are rated at 400 amps. So I got a brass, uh, brass T-style ground clamp there. And I got a 400 amp uh, screw type electrode holder. I never use this style. And um, I usually go with uh, with these right here. These are the 200 amp. Uh, they're made by Lincoln, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this Hobart out. And I'm gonna put it on my brand new Hobart Elite uh, Champion, which is my new engine driven 225 amp welder. And it's a, a DC model. There's no AC on here. As y'all can see, we got three different ratings on here. There's core settings. You got your fine tuner from one to 10 your little crank here to turn it on and my little meter I still haven't put the battery because I just picked it up a few hours ago well picked it up last night like around nine it was nine o'clock when I loaded in my truck which is right at closing time so you know been about 18 hours or so who knows but anyways um it's a champion elite 225 DC welder 11,000 watt generator and I believe it's like 9,500 continuous, which is pretty much uh, what I need I got two uh, 240 volt outlets here and I believe I believe this one will work for my, uh, my plasma cutter. I need to verify the plug, but I believe it's that one and then you got four of these uh, 120 volt uh, GCFI plugs here and these covers right here <clears throat> are for my electrodes well for my electro leads and um, I guess you can feed them here through the bottom I hadn't noticed that but either through the bottom or you got this little groove right here I went ahead and ordered uh, 150 feet of one odd uh, welding cable by uh, Royal Exilin I believe the name and also got me the little uh, quick connects here so, but anyways, um, I got this coupon in the mail, and um, I was able to save about 500 bucks or so on this welder, which was a uh, 450 off the welder, and then I saved about 25 bucks off the taxes. Came out to uh, 2,709 dollars, which is um, about 600 bucks under the the Lincoln Ranger. 10,000 and it's about 1100 bucks um, Cheaper than the Bobcat 225 that I was looking at I really don't need AC, but um, You know, I just had to get this a little bit cheaper. I was able to take advantage of a coupon and um, They had it here locally. So that's one thing I liked Here's some more specs here, which is a 225 amps DC. It's a stick welder uh, you can weld up to half inch on a single pass. Most of the stuff I do is quarter inch or 316s. Um, it's 100% duty cycle. Other welders around the $3,000 or $3,200 price range are about 60%. You know, like at uh, at $225 and they're 100%, like at $200 or so. But anyways, um, we got the 11,000 uh, 11, watt uh, peak here, 9,500 uh, continuous. It says it's smaller, lighter, and quieter. I don't have my my muffler installed on top. I don't have gas in here. I haven't checked the oil yet. And um, that will be determined in the next few days. So I can have about 5,200 watts uh, running, uh, you know, whatever devices I have and welding at the same time. You got your 240, uh, 240 volt receptacles, 12 gallon fuel tank, just like most of the welders out there. Got my fuel gauge. Um, I believe this welder has uh, three uh, three little doors. 
So. You got the motor on this side on the front side. You got the generator here on the back side. Um, we got the, I believe this is the, the, the negative or the ground to the battery. I'm not sure exactly what these are here for. I need to read the manual. Don't know they have to be plugged in somewhere or not at the moment. But um, the battery's here in the back. One thing I didn't like about the welder or I didn't actually see until I brought it home was there's no door here in the back to take off the battery. So I'm assuming you got to take off these bolts up here, which is like four bolts here. Probably these four here. And then probably two on this side and two on the opposite side. Um, to have access to the battery. But anyways, um, here's another little sticker here. 50 amps up to 225 at 25 volts. Um, engine RPMs 2400, 3750. Just like other uh, welders out there. And it's a single phase, uh, 60 hertz AC. So on this side, you can see the battery there, and uh, that's the post where I have to put my uh, battery cable. I got the manual right there. I got the muffler. They probably have a startup guide there. Like I said, it's the first time I open up the motor here and see what's inside. So I got the muffler, one of these uh, muffler clamps or seat clamps. I got some warranty information and this orange paper is probably one of those uh, read me first kind of stuff or call us first. But um, I'll get into that a little bit later on, uh, probably tomorrow or Friday or something like that. You got your oil filter here. And of course your Kohler engine here up front, fuel filter. I don't know if this is, um, I might have to remove this here and uh, push in the filter more in the hose. I don't want it to come off while I'm uh, welding or something. But um, that's oil drain there on the bottom, spark plug cable and um, your regular motor, lawnmower welder engine. I got my little tab here to hoist this thing up. Top view of the, the motor here. Down from my oil here. My dipstick. And a lot of little parts here and there. So it's a gas engine and it tells you what kind of oil to use, I guess, depending on the temperatures. Change the oil at 100 hours, oil filter at 200 hours. Oil filter is a Miller. Uh, oil capacity one and a half quarts, and some more information here on the engine. A little, uh, I believe, a uh, quick guide here on uh, depending on what rods you use. I have 6011 here by one eighth, and uh, it should be around the uh, 75, maybe 225 amp rating or so. A little gas cap in my tank. And I've heard a lot of people say about uh, not overfilling the, the tank. I don't know what the reason behind it is, but um, I guess when I fill it up, I got to look in the inside. And uh, you can barely see it, but this is the max level of gas you want to have in it. I don't know if it has a vent or, or not. So 12 gallons in here should be plenty. And uh, let me get down. Hopefully I don't break a leg here. Pretty much covers um, whatever I can see here on this welder. And um, it's still bolted on this uh, plastic uh, pallet here. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully in a week or so, I'll have this uh, cranked on and get the battery, uh, the welding leads in and give it a shot, see what it does. And hopefully I can enjoy it for many years to come. So pretty much it. Any, uh, any comments you have on the welder, please let me know. That way I'll know ahead of time and I can uh, 
you know put it in the next video I make or answer the the questions you might have in the next video and um, like I said um, feel free to comment share whatever this video and um, just have fun welding and play it safe and see y'all later bye bye